So I want to show everyone what may in fact be the most realistic path for price when it comes to ADA moving forward from here. Don't don't get pissed off by this. Know that this is just a, a projection and this is taking into, into account things like, you know, mass adoption in the crypto market, uh, bigger adoption in terms of ADA actually having positive catalysts during a market cycle and, and for once actually having full functionality when it comes to the Cardano ecosystem. So what I did was I looked at last market cycle and I basically was able to implement that over the current market cycle scaled for what we're experiencing currently. And this path would actually make a lot of sense. So let's talk about the near term here just to begin with. Okay. And again, this is not a guarantee. This is not financial advice. What we're seeing right now is ADA kind of coming down, hitting about 40 cents, bouncing around. And you can see that with this projection here, post having it shows a little bit of a drop again, trying to get back down to that 40 cent range, a little bit of a sell off would make a lot of sense. This actually coincides getting closer to the FOMC meeting. So obviously we we have a lot of things ahead of us in the near term that may impact the market one way or the other. So again, it just shows a little bit of period of chop. And then finally we get into May. Now, this is purely speculative as, for, as far as a timeline goes, but what is coming here in quarter two of this year that may in fact be a positive catalyst in terms of Cardano and ADA? The Chang hard fork actual launch of decentralization, full governance within the Cardano ecosystem. Many times, if you guys haven't noticed these big rollouts, these big launches for Cardano, they've taken place at times that frankly haven't been that good in the market. They've taken place either during the bear market cycle or at the top of the bull market, just times where we haven't had time to really use it as a catalyst to propel prices further. Remember the height of 2021 for ADA was early and it was because we had the launch of smart contracts. It became a sell the news event, right? This is one where because ADA is so oversold, the launch of the Chang hard fork is actually possibly a buying event. That may be in fact, what gets prices going. Again, this has us push us pushing us very, very close to what our cycle high is here. And then a little bit of a pullback, you know, typically when you go on these explosive runs, for example, this one's showing almost a run of 60%, you're going to have some periods of cool off shows sideways trading up until about mid June. And then we start to get into much better times in the market alt season, right? Things begin to take off a little bit. This shows ADA coming in at about $1.25 in, in July before kind of correcting down, coming back down to the 60 cent level, pissing people off, of course, a people saying that ADA's dead, of course, you know, same kind of things we've heard time and time again. And it shows us basically climbing all the way back up and finishing the year just above this trend line and somewhere around the $2 to $2.50 range. So that actually makes a lot of sense. Historically speaking, this would be on par with what we have seen cycle to cycle to cycle for most assets, ending the year somewhere close to the prior all-time high. Then in 2025, this is where things begin to get exciting. This is when the charts really do, do truly take off. And you guys can see that ADA from there just explodes to levels that some people frankly don't think is possible for whatever reason. All right, and we're talking somewhere between the seven to $15 range that actually makes a lot of sense in terms of ADA. This is utilizing obviously things like bigger adoption within the Cardano ecosystem, mass adoption happening in crypto. Remember ADA, because it is a large blue chip crypto, it gets a lot of optics from, from you know new people entering the space. It's a natural solution for people trying to get into a functional cheap blockchain that's decentralized with major utility. That is where I see big, big amounts of people flocking to Cardano. So we basically take off from this $2 point, get up into that range, start getting choppy. And this even shows a blow off top, trying to approach the $20 level as we get further into 2025. Now, you know, this is not a guarantee. This is obviously just, you know, using those things that I talked about, and this should get a lot of people excited. Now, I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver or guarantee this is going to happen because there's no guarantee in crypto, right? There are a lot of emerging solutions, but I will say when we talk about ones that are actually fostering, you know, big utility-based partnerships, ones that are actually well prepared for adoption and enterprises flowing into the space and things like that, Cardano is set up pretty darn well. All right. The haters will will obviously try to, you know, knock those points down. We see it time and time again. People will call ADA dead, just like they probably will. If we, if this plays out perfect, right? People will call ADA dead to kind of write down this trend too. But this, this happens time and time again. I'd be very happy if this cycle obviously plays out this way. We can just look at history. We can look at what's happened from cycle to cycle to cycle to kind of gauge this. But as long as Cardano continues to have a huge foothold in the market, as long as it continues to gain traction the way that it is, I think we're going to be pretty well set as we work our way through this cycle. So that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. We'll obviously watch for the big catalyst, the Chang hard fork, the Chang 
hard fork and see how that plays into further price appreciation for ADA. So appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.